Hey guys, Kaltorak here. Today, I want to show you how I was able to quickly farm all the coins I needed for the Blood Moon event, including for the amazing Blood Raptor mount. I still plan on doing a lot more farming since I want to get Arathi Basin rep as well as honor for rank 5, but in terms of items, I've got all of them. For spec, I am playing as Deep Frost. You really just want Ice Barrier and Ice Block to keep yourself alive. For runes, I'm running Arcane Blast, Arcane Surge, Missile Barrage, Regeneration, and Chronostatic Preservation. Yes boys, we are doing this as a healer. You can swap Regeneration for Enlightenment if you want, which I occasionally do. The main core of this build though is Chronostatic Preservation. This heal is pretty insane. It is crazy amounts of burst healing, with no cooldown. As you can see, I can keep people alive through some pretty nutty damage. Not many people suspect the mage healer, so I found that as long as I position well, no one tends to focus me down. Be behind your team as much as possible and be ready to ice block if you get jumped on. Another fun part of this build is Missile Barrage's interaction with Rank 1 Frostbolt. I am oftentimes spamming Rank 1 Frostbolt to catch people for my team, which has a chance to proc Missile Barrage. Really easy to get procs and help secure kills. Since you're also running Arcane Surge, you also have the potential to snipe kills when needed. I oftentimes find myself using Arcane Surge when I'm Oom, so I can get the extra mana regen to get a few extra heals in. This is very mana intensive, so you will find yourself Oom quite a lot. Fights end quick though, and you die often, it's not that big of a deal. I've had multiple events where I've been able to secure close to 2,000 coins. For location, I prefer to fight at ZG. The cool thing about this location is, it's very easy to get from the respawn point to the altar. Most of the other locations, it's a real pain to get coin turn-ins, but this spot is really chill for that. Last thing I want to mention is the Loa. He is definitely worth fighting at, so if you see him, make sure you are fighting near him. He gives a handy aura. All kills you get give extra coins if the Loa is nearby. Last thing I want to mention, for those that don't know, killing blows are what reward coins, so make sure you are trying to snipe kills whenever you can. The event isn't perfect, but it's way better than it was on launch. The lag has been resolved, and the changes they made are really nice. Up next, you'll see a montage of me spam healing people. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. GG's boys, and good luck farming your bloody coins.